As an over 30 year old, I am by no means old. However, I am a seasoned enough Canadian by now to tell you that it's been a long damn time since Canadian Tire has been a staple of the Canadian retail market. It is easily one of the top three retailers and that is why it is our first subject here on Canadian Product Reviews, Canadian Retail Retrospect. I can remember being a young boy and visiting the Canadian Tire in my hometown. It was a lot smaller of a store back then, more of a mom and pop store feeling back in the mid 80s. You can almost argue its quaint charm has left it feeling as Canadian as ever. With hockey equipment, fishing equipment, and automobiles at its mainstay focus, you can tell as soon as you walk into Canadian Tire, you're at home in Canada. The story begins in 1920, when two brothers from Toronto's Cabbage Town neighborhood, John William Bill and Alfred Jackson Bill, took their life savings of $1,800 and invested it in Hamilton Tire and Garage. They did not sell many tires out of this venture, and they were leasing month to month in the beginning. They even had to resort to renting their garages to local doctors and lawyers to store their cars when times got at its toughest. Fast forward to 1923 and things begin to look good. They expand their product line at the garage and they move to Young and Gould in Toronto's heart and open their first official Canadian tire location that isn't simply a car garage. Alfred Johnson Bill was quoted saying, he used the name Canadian Tire because it sounded big. In 1926, they issue their first flyer and year after year, things quickly expand to a catalog and they open more stores in the greater Toronto area. By the 30s, they expand their foothold to include in-house brands that remain to this day. Mastercraft tools with their lifetime warranty are a staple of the Canadian household, and any older vehicle in Canada has seen a MotoMaster battery, filter, or suspension part in its lifetime. By the 1950s, the company had grown substantially and had become a household brand. And in 1958, they introduced another major breakthrough to the brand, Canadian Tire Money. This head of its time loyalty program became a huge part of Canadian culture. The percentage you got back varied over time, but if you spent money, you made money at Canadian Tire, and this sure did produce repeat customers. Other retailers were even known to accept this currency as a promotion, and some Canadians dedicated the better parts of their lives to save for that big ticket item. Of persistence that could only happen in Canada. It's about an Edmonton man with an ambitious plan to save and spend a fortune in Canadian tire money. It's the sweet ride Brian McPherson has been dreaming of for more than half his life. And not just idle dreaming, but saving, collecting Canadian tire money since junior high. Basically 15 years. I mean, since, since I was 14 years old and had that first 10 cents. And with 1,053 Canadian Tire dollars in a briefcase, McPherson hit the store and told the cashier what he wanted to buy. They were also known for their great marketing campaigns on television and radio. The holidays saw it. Canadian Tire used Scrooge as an advocate for savings, and the famous Albert Got Picked Last for Hockey campaign left a many Canadians wondering if they could make it to the big leagues someday. Canadian Tire has experienced a period of significant growth and success and has transformed its store and network in major waves beginning in about 1994. 90% of Canadians live within a 50-minute drive of a Canadian Tire, and they maintain a large fleet of gas stations across the nation. Countrywide, the stores service over 10,000 cars per day and sell enough hoppy tape annually to connect Victoria and Halifax nearly four times. So where does that leave Canadian Tire today? It has maintained a grip on Canadian men and women alike for some time, and the market shows improvement and continued success in every aspect. Home improvement, outdoor living, automotive, sports, and seasonal. You can count on Canadian Tire for great deals in almost every single area. I can remember my dad and I finding any excuse to go to Canadian Tire. There was always a great deal to be had on tools, and as a father and son, it never got boring to walk around and look at all the cool stuff in Canadian Tire. There have been several American brands that have tried to knock this iconic retailer off its podium, but even the likes of Home Depot and Walmart can't seem to capitalize on that classic Canadian feel. Well, I hope you enjoyed my video. I worked really hard on it. It's the first in a series of features I hope to include on my channel. 
And as a bonus, while I was at Canadian Tire, I picked up something to review. This is a Mastercraft sharpening device, electric sharpener, multi-purpose. I like to cook and I like keeping my knives sharp, so we'll see if this baby stacks up. And uh, if you like my video, obviously, can you subscribe, pass it along, social media, all that good jazz. I would love to hear your feedback, and I'd also love to hear your favorite Canadian Tire memory. So until next time, my name's TJ for CanadianProductReviews.com. Share this video and you'll see a review for this baby in the next couple days.